Hello, I'm James Overton, and I'm going to talk to you about the Altadev Suite, a suite of ontology and data integration tools written by me and my team, uh, Rebecca Jackson in particular. And this is our poster. The key is this graph of all the different tools that we've built and how they connect together. Our goal is to help scientists make better use of ontologies, and to a large extent, that's about using software tools uh, better. Uh, we want to use ontologies everywhere. And uh, we want graduate students, postdocs, early career scientists, as, as well as senior scientists to do them. We want to meet these scientists where they are, uh, in particular the Python notebooks. We want them to be able to use ontologies in a whole bunch of these different places, and we're working towards those things. I think of these tools in terms of tables and trees. We try and use tables for editing because they're easy to think about and program with. There's lots of mature tools tab separated values tables are very good for version control and on the other hand we have uh, trees with simple hierarchies that are very useful for searching and browsing RDF which is very extensible Al bringing logical power and so I want to make it easy to move back and forth between tables and trees I also really like git branches parallel development pull requests and uh, I like workflows where we define lots of small tasks and connect them together in kind of a network uh, say using something like GNU make and sometimes we will run that inside a docker container I try and give local and web-based options uh, for these different things command line tools and web interfaces on the table side we have cogs which is used to synchronize a Google sheet with a directory of TSV files so each TSV file is one sheet in your Google sheet uh, of course Google Sheets are great for collaboration but TSVs are great for version control so we use we built on a library called gspread and we kind of mimicked the git interface for initializing adding tables fetching pulling uh, getting the status differences and pushing them we can also uh, use TSV files for error messages formatting formulae and stuff and uh, and get you in need highlighting like this of uh, errors that you might come across Axel is like COGS, but it's for Excel files. Valve is our validation tool, which uh, its main claim to fame is that uh, validation is configured using tables. And so tables like these say what your data types of all your columns are. And those tables can be side by side with your content, maybe in a Google Sheet, maybe in an Excel file. Sprocket is a web interface for this uh, Valve tools, and so it lets you uh, view, search, or edit uh, a SQL table that we've built with Valve, see the highlighting, uh, messages and also edit these things. Robot is the tool that uh, is kind of the flagship of the OntoDev suite. It's been around for more than seven years. It's got more than 2,000 commits from uh, a thriving open source community. Uh, Robot is focused on ontology development, automation, especially for the open bio ontologies community, but it's generally useful for any OWL project. And uh, Robot does also use tables for different things, such as term templates, imports, and reports. LDTab is a tool that we've recently been building to uh, work with RDF and OWL in a SQL database. And so we can read OWL or RDF into SQL and then query and edit in the SQL table from any language that can speak SQL, which is pretty much anything. Then we can write back to OWL and RDF. Uh, part of the trick is uh, this library called wiring, which lets us convert back and forth between little RDF OWL languages. Uh, such as LDTab's JSON format and say Manchester strings with HTML links, uh, which we need for our ontology browsers and other tools. And Gadget is our ontology browser. It's a web interface for viewing, searching, editing those LDTab tables, tree views, synonym search. But because LDTab is so lightweight, uh, this can be run with just a few hundred megabytes of RAM and you can have a whole bunch of these things running all at once. And that's an advantage. Uh, even for large ontologies, an advantage over something like a robot. Now, Nanobot is our tool that connects together all these things. It connects together the tables and trees, tables with the Valve Validator and Sprocket web interface, LDTab, OWL in SQL, and the web interface for that with Gadget. And I'm going to show you a couple things you can do with it. So here we're running the web interface. We browse through the Open Biomedical Investigations ontology. And we've uh, come to Analyte Assay, and we can click this Edit button, and we're going to jump to a table view of this term. Uh, so this particular term is in a robot template, a table with uh, all these different columns. We have validation for these columns. We have autocomplete for different things. And then robot will rebuild this uh, row from the table back into the ontology. 
Likewise, we can load in a whole bunch of upstream ontologies, like the ones that OB depends on, say the cell ontology, and we can go and edit our imports. So we can edit the epithelial cell import that we're using, or we can add a new import uh, with another table view. Now, those tools that I showed you are primarily used to run locally, but Droid will let you package those tools up uh, and run them on the web. And Droid is meant for trusted users who have GitHub write access to your repository, and then you can run individual branches inside a Docker container with the different software that you need, and uh, it will present you with version control operations in a curated workflow, uh, which is useful for people who might not like command line tools all the time. So here's Droid. I've logged in with my GitHub credentials. We see a bunch of different projects. We click on MRO, and we see the branches that are on GitHub for MRO. Some of them have been checked out locally on Droid, and some of them are on, still on GitHub, and we could check them out. Each one is running inside a container. We can see the Git information. Here we select demo site, and we have version control tools on the right, and custom uh, buttons for for doing things with uh, with this project, including maybe that nanobot web interface that I showed you. Uh, here's a diff view, for example. Now, Joan is still in development, but the idea is to do something similar, but lighter weight, so that we can have public contributions from users who we don't trust to run expensive processes, but we would like them to make pull requests, connect up to our GitHub workflows. So that's the OntoDev suite, taking your data, moving it through these different little tools, each layered and orthogonal, use them together or use them separately. All of them are open source, and then connecting up to your version control tool and back to your data. Thanks to so many people, and please feel free to get in touch by email or on our website. Have a great day.